Of that cloud coverage, uh, one person has been very worried about that, and that is Michael Sager. He has been looking for a place to set up shop. And you know, he's already in that two news storm truck. Wow, they left here at like 3 a.m. They're looking for a place to set up his camera for that totality. Awesome shot. Get it? To uh -huh. Totally, totality. Awesome shot. See what I did there, Michael? You miss us? Oh, we're going to try to get some shots of this, that is for sure. And of course, uh, I've got uh, two cameras that I'll, I'll have, and, and We'll be going live on television as I try to get a few of these shots as well. But I've got one that has a uh, telephoto lens that I can zoom in tight to the eclipse. And, and much like you have to wear your eclipse glasses to protect your eyes, you have to use a special lens on your cameras to protect uh, the camera from the sun. But when you hit totality, you can take the eclipse glasses off and you can take the lens off the camera as well and you can shoot it uh, with just your normal lens but uh, hopefully we'll get some good shots but uh, a lot of excitement uh, you know you were talking about you know the long anticipated day this has been i've been waiting uh for uh, uh, about seven years uh, for this one uh, as soon as uh, i had a chance to witness totality uh, in 2017 and, and it blew me away i had high expectations and I was blown away by what I witnessed right away. I was like, I can't wait for 2024. And uh, I'm not just excited because, you know, I've had a chance to see it, but we've got a whole crew with us that has not witnessed totality. And I'm really looking forward to see how everybody uh, on our crew reacts and how they feel because I know what they're in for. They don't know what they're in for, but I know what they're in for and it will be amazing. Michael, I know you say totality in Northeast Oklahoma, you know, not quite a part of that 95% or so, but you have the cameras, someone with a phone though, kind of the same situation, right? Watch out for that. Yeah, exactly right. You know, uh, you do have to protect uh, those cameras if, if you wanted to get uh, pictures of the eclipse, especially uh, in Tulsa, uh, where you're not going to have totality, you won't be able to take off the lens cover. Now, one thing that might be able to actually help out is the cirrus clouds that we'll have overhead. And they might be a little thicker as you get toward northeast Oklahoma compared to what we're going to see toward Arkansas. We'll see how that plays out. We know I know Emma's been talking about that uh, so far this morning. But uh, that may help filter the sun and the eclipse a little bit, uh, but uh, still got to be careful with it. All right, that's going to be absolutely amazing. Michael, I think I'm more excited to see your reaction to this whole thing than maybe the whole thing. In those thing pictures? Yeah. 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 All right, Michael, good to see you, my friend. We'll see you in just a little bit. He, uh, though, is not.